All right, today's video I'm going to show you how I typically spray paint uh, uh, parts. So basically, I have a primer. I like to prime all the surfaces before um, putting the, uh, the base coat on. So this is the Acrylon primer. And then I also got this Rust-Oleum. Um, this is a metallic uh, rub uh, bronze color. And then uh, after I prime this, then I'm going to put on the base coat, then I'm going to follow by uh, a clear coat, uh, which makes it much more durable. So, so what you want to do when you spray paint something is keep it about, say, I don't know, 7, 8, 10 inches above the surface. And just follow the contour of the surface. I'd like to do it on a nice sunny day because it'll dry a lot faster. So. So this one has been uh, painted earlier and uh, that one's dried. The primer dries pretty quickly, so, and then uh, any little parts you want to, say these ones, I don't want to touch the surface, so I kind of put it ab above, um, on top of a piece of wood here, so. And the main thing is make sure you want to get the sides, get all the... Today is a little windy, it's not the ideal condition to paint, but it's nice and sunny, so things will dry a lot faster. I've waited for the primer to dry for about half an hour. The primers dry pretty quickly, especially out in the sunlight, so um, I'm going to put on this uh, base coat. It's a brilliant metal finish uh, rub bronze uh, from Rust-Oleum, and this one is done already. And one thing good about um, priming it before you put the base coat is the um, priming will allow the color to of the base coat to come through a lot better. Um, you don't have to use as much uh, base coat so that's why I always like to prime the surface and basically just again same thing just light strokes follow the contour. You don't want to lay it down too heavy. And this one's done. So I move on to uh, the other one here that hasn't been done, and also the uh, the extra pieces that goes with this uh, light fixture. And uh, this base coat, I'm gonna let it dry for a good hour, uh, at least an hour in the sun, before I uh, put the uh, clear coat on. Okay, it's been an hour since the, I put down the first uh, base coat. I got this uh, Rust-Oleum uh, gloss clear. And I'm gonna give it one uh, clear coat. Now, if you want to put two base coat, that, that's that's fine. If you know the, you know the surface that you're gonna be painting uh, have a lot of traffic on it, uh, usage on it, so it'll be more durable. Um, you can also do two clear coat if you want. But these are light fixtures. Once I put it up in the ceiling, um, nobody's gonna touch it. So I'm just gonna use one base coat, one clear coat, and it should be plenty. So um, and same thing, just basically. Um, Slightly cover all the surface. So 
So in the hallway I have these two uh, light fixtures. They're rather old and they're probably about 11 years old, the age of this house. And uh, I'm going to replace it with these ones. I just painted. Um, they're dry now, so I'm going to swap them out and I'll show you the end result. Okay, this is all completed now. i replaced both of them. I think it looks a lot better than the old ones. So, thank you for watching.